love Space, I love Shaun of the Dead, and I really like Hot Fuzz. That British comedy trifecta of Wright, Peg, and Frost, they're good every time. Even that YouTube video where they flush Nick Frost's cake down a toilet, link included below. But then I learned that Daddy, Mommy, and Mommy's best friend were splitting up. And Wright was going to be directing Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, while Nick Frost and Simon Pegg would be doing Paul. I'm not gonna lie, I was scared. Perhaps the three of them together was a magical formula, but remove one element and the whole thing falls apart. Fortunately, Scott Pilgrim was fantastic, and so is Paul. Now I'm gonna start with my disappointments because I kind of want to get the bad vibes out of the way. Now I don't know about you, but I'm always somebody who likes to know who my main character is, but you're not really sure throughout the whole movie. Yeah, it's Frost and Peg, so it could be a bromance, but the name of the movie's Paul. And Kristen Wiig's in there too, and she plays a romantic interest of Simon Pegg. Well, Kristen Wiig is the biggest moment of discovery, but Nick Frost does all the driving, so you know, I'm just shelving this. We'll just label this as an ensemble comedy. Now my second bit of interstellar beef is almost a spoiler, but it isn't really. Sigourney Weaver is completely wasted in this film. Now I don't consider this a spoiler because one, if you're interested in this film, you've already stumbled upon that fact. And two, if you're a sci-fi nerd, as soon as you hear her voice, you know who she is. And when you finally see her, there's little to no payoff. Oh yeah, she did a bunch of alien movies, and this is a movie about aliens. That's kind of clever. I guess. And for those who don't know who she is, it's even worse. Because it's like, oh, who's that evil, slightly uninspired character? Oh, she was in something before? Yeah, I was born in 1994. Now, on the fun! Both Simon Pegg and Nick Frost are great, but I walked away most impressed with Seth Rogen and Kristen Wiig. After seeing this, I want Seth Rogen to do so many more animated features. His voice just has that thing. And when given a voiceover opportunity, because he kind of looks a certain type, so many more doors are going to open to him. The last time I saw Kristen Wiig outside of SNL was in MacGruber. And while she was enjoyable, she wasn't given much to do. Here she's given an amazing abundance of funny bits. And she just knocks them out of the park. And I'm really looking forward to her in Bridesmaids. And now I don't want to ruin anything, but she perhaps has the best shirt in a movie. Ever. It's brilliant for her character. And if anybody knows where the shirt is available online, please let me know. I want to own it. As long as it's not one of those douchebag indie shirt companies that's like, we charge $45 for a shirt, it's made by an artist. That's nice, you've got a printing press, print more. Also, Joe LaTrulio and Bill Hader may be forever doomed to play supporting characters in comedies, but damn if I don't enjoy them. They make any role so incredibly unique. And with Paul, they're given ample amount of screen time, so you really get to enjoy them. But sadly, these underrated comedians are paired with an overrated and attempting to rebrand himself Jason Bateman. I'm sorry, but I've seen Jason Bateman in Arrested Development, The Switch, and Extract. I know that he's a whiny bitch. Don't try to play him off as a badass. Just giving him shades, low angles, and dramatic camera moves doesn't make him cool. But B plus for effort. In case you couldn't tell, as far as sci-fi action comedies go, Paul has it down in terms of comedy. And it's about an alien, so I guess it takes care of the sci-fi. As far as the action of this action comedy goes, expect more panicked escapes and car chases than epic set pieces. The action's good, but during these high-octane moments, I felt myself really just wanting to be spending more time with the characters. As far as films go this year, Paul is perhaps the strongest entry yet. Definitely the strongest in the alien category, anyway. The film is both crass and clever, well-balanced, and crammed with so many great comedians and wonderful moments. And Sigourney Weaver. I put Paul above Hot Fuzz and below Spaced. Now try to figure out where I put Shaun of the Dead. It's at the top of the list. So those are my thoughts on Paul. Leave your thoughts and comments below. And if you want previous reviews, why don't you just click around? There they are. Hey, and for an added bonus, let me know how you'd rank the Frost Peg Wright films. I want to know your thoughts below in the comments. But I swear to God, if you rank Hot Fuzz above Shaun of the Dead, I will fight you. So comment and click. As for me, I'm gonna review my shirt collection. This one's from Threadless, it's a fish tank, get it, you know. This one's uh, Urban Outfitters, it's monsters just raining from the sky. This one's Suburban Riot, uh, it's just a bridge sort of thing. They, they contribute to It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. This one's also Suburban Riot, not gonna be visible with the green screener. This one's um, also Threadless. Uh, this one is also threadless, and this one is also thread. Oh my god, I'm an ironic t-shirt douchebag. I probably will buy that $45 shirt.